So it's Monday, June 7th. Uh, construction still going on on all the uh, side streets, essentially, in South Utica, it seems like. Utica, New York. Um, Trudica, Trudica, New York, you know? <laughs> um, last night was the first, yesterday rather, was the first day I had my dad here. He's here for a week. Uh, spend some time and see some family and see some friends and all that good stuff. Uh, my grandma and grandpa are actually up here too. They recently just bought a new camp, uh, so that's cool. My uncle's got a new camp too. I know everybody's got these camps, you know. Uh, eventually, I'll have a camp. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, so today is actually the first day I'll be all by myself the whole time at the uh, the office at uh, Munson. Just working on, you know, office stuff. But I was thinking to myself, hmm, Mike, you're gonna be alone for at least a month uh, because the new girl who replaces my boss isn't gonna be starting until the 28th. So, maybe I could get some of my creative work done also while getting the regular work done there. Uh, and that could be very advantageous to me. Advantageous. Yeah. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Last night we had everything wings. My dad's never had them. Loved them. We had them from the Killer Brew Saloon in uh, on Seneca Turnpike there. And yeah, it was a good night. We both had to take lots of dairy pills because you know we're lactose intolerant and whew, them everything wings. Yeah, they'll get you. So I'll be completely honest with you, uh, when I knew I was going to be working by myself mostly in the office on Mondays, uh, this is kind of exactly what I pictured. You know, doing a little bit of work here and there, and then just kind of chilling. It's good stuff. It's nice. So I'm going to have to find something to do. Hey guys, what's up? So, I don't know why I keep introducing myself every time. It, it's, <laughs> it's hard to remember that I'm just doing like clip after clip uh, for the vlog and stuff like that instead of doing something that, like when I do my morning posts or my random one-off posts for, uh, for Instagram or for Facebook and stuff like that. Uh, so right now I'm actually in the, what's the rec room in uh, the student center at Pratt. And uh, I'm actually getting ready for uh, this year, before the students come, we have to get ready their art kits. Um, and we're actually having some difficulty locating a lot of stuff just because of the pandemic and every art school is trying to order a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but I, it's, it's my job to get all this stuff repaired and we do it in the rec room because it is empty and has a lot of space and uh, allows us to have sort of like two tables set up where I can just do basically like a round robin type, uh, you know, factory line. Uh, situation, but it's a it's a neat building when it's uh when it's empty. I love it. I, I always love being in empty buildings by myself. I don't know why. It's a it's a thing. <laughs> so I tell you what's been really great about uh, working the way I've been working today by myself and, um, you know, having certain tasks to get done for, for my job here, uh, you know. It's, it's been great knowing there are certain things I have to get done, right, and then being able to complete them, but also having the freedom and space to work on uh, creative things. Like, you know, I'm doing this vlog right now. I actually just edited a video of my Sunday vlog. I shot some scenes for a, uh, for a sketch, actually. I uh, wrote an article. <laughs> I have um, maintained my social media posting, which is, you know, what I like to do. Um, scheduling it out way in advance. So I don't even have to think about it. It's just going, you know, off by itself at this point, which is great. And, uh, but having, having that freedom, you know what I mean? It's kind of like my favorite ways to work. I forget what it's called. And I, <sighs> I read about it uh, years ago, or a couple years ago, uh, where it was actually a company, uh, couple companies that, 
uh, went for this this type this style of of working essentially. I think uh, Best Buy does something like that, or a couple Best Buy stores did uh, from the article that I read, where it's like instead of having your employees come in for a certain amount of time, be there from you know nine to five, wherever like that. Uh, everybody's paid however they're paid for the day, you know, and uh, they just have certain they just have certain tasks that they have to get done uh, for that day. You know what I mean? So, but once they have those tasks done, they can go. You know, or if they ha if they're a salesperson, they have to stay, you know, to help the customers and stuff like that, depending on uh, the type of operation you're running. But I like that that style uh, where it's like, here's the task for today, get those done. As soon as you get those done, get out of there. You know, but you still get paid for that whole day. Um, that's something I would I would love for the that they would implement everywhere. Uh, here it would be hard, um, except for like on days like today, um, Munson isn't open on Mondays. The museum is not open on Mondays. Uh, the campus store is closed for the summer, um, so I don't have any customers to um, to help out or anything like that. So it'd be a great day for to, to be one of those days where hey, you know, here's the certain amount of tasks you have to get done. Once you get those done, you can jet. Um, That'd be really cool. It's not how it goes right now, and it would be hard uh, once, obviously, the stores both open back up. In August, I'll be back over here at the campus store uh, full-time, just helping the students and faculty and things like that. Uh, so it'd be hard in a retail position like that. But if you have other positions in your company that aren't required to be there for customers or anything like that, I think it's just a great way to go. You know, everybody, you're st the company's still getting their tasks done. Uh, people are still getting paid fairly. And, you know, your time... It would almost seem that the company's valuing your time more, you know? Uh, I don't know, just my thought. And so ends my first Monday alone here that I'll have for the next month. It was good. It was fun. I, uh, I did it very Costanza style. Definitely. Now it's, uh, looks like it's gonna rain out here or it's warmer or something, so it's gonna be fun. So I'm on the way to visit my dad right now uh, at my grandpa and grandma's uh, camp in Illinois, New York. And I guess there was an accident on uh, Higby here, it looks like. I don't know what happened, uh, but traffic has stopped. And it appears to be a lot of broken stuff on the road. Can't tell if there's an ambulance. And upon further review, I didn't want to film because there was, there was cops there, obviously, and I wanted them to you know, think I'm messing around on my phone. Um, upon further review, I don't know what happened because I have no, no clue. There was just dirt everywhere, was dirt and grass and a big trailer. Nobody, it wasn't an accident, definitely. It was more like a, I don't know, somebody was, maybe somebody was stuck in a ditch, I guess. Uh, and I can't tell if it's a tow truck towing a large bus in front of me. Or what's happening? I don't know what to make of this. And it's probably just not even, yeah, I'm not providing any, any information right now. <laughs> so here's like a better shot of it. It does look like it was a bus. Uh, I guess got in a ditch or something I had to get pulled out by this truck I don't know